uh, in this video lecture I will discuss about the distributed systems the need of distributed systems and the associated challenges with distributed system so let's start uh, in our last video lecture uh, distributed uh, distributed computing was introduced and the key terms associated with the distributed systems are discussed so what are distributed system distributed system is a one in which components located at network computers communicate and coordinate their action only by passing messages so in distributed system we have a whole system in distributed components a heterogeneous distributed components or we can say the nodes nodes computers that are shared and linked using some network and the purpose and goal is one the computational goal is one and all the components coordinate and communicate and work as a one system so this definition leads to the following characteristics of distributed systems the concurrency of components mean the parallel execution of programs lack of global clock or we can say there is a no physical common clock yes every component every processing unit or every subsystem has a physical clock but there is no a common clock independent failures of components this means if one component fails it will not affect the other component this means the components are independent and this is the beauty of distributed system which make distributed system or we we can say which assure the reliability of the system in computer science concurrency refers to the ability of different parts or units of program algorithm or problem to be executed out of order or in partial order without affecting the final outcome so concurrent activities concurrent computations either out of order or in order does not affect the final outcome so this is another advantage of concurrency in distributed systems concurrency allow for parallel execution of current current units which can significantly improve overall speed of execution in multi processor and multi core system so multi core systems use the concurrency parallel execution of tasks in more technical terms concurrency refers to the decomposability property of program algorithm or problem into order independent or partially order components or units so there are different aspects of distributed system the first one is the distributed system consists of components computers that are autonomous 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 means they are independent bodies every computer has a unique characteristics so there is no homogeneous uh, homogeneity a second aspect is that users in the people who use the system think they are dealing with a single system mean for users it is not a dis uh, mean user will not feel the um, different system but user will deal with the one whole one single system and it is already stated in quite detail uh, that uh, all the component work as a single system so there are certain challenges associated with distributed system design and operation scalability issue 
Scalability is the ability to work when the system load or the number of users increases. So this is obviously the um, issue. In fact, scalability is the issue with any system uh, where the number of users increases. But uh, here it is also an issue because when the number of users increases, the number of processing processes also increases and uh, as we have some shared resources some resources that are that are shared among all the concurrent uh, components so uh, obviously uh, there can be a deadlock and the system can uh, cannot be uh, efficiently work when the number of users increase uh, from certain limit with designing and maintainable scalable distributed system, there exist a number of challenges. So, the second challenge is openness. Means, when while designing the um, distributed system, we should think that either the existing system can be extended more, mean more components can be adjusted or can be embedded in the existing architecture or can the new resource sharing service be added and more available for use by a variety of client programs and openness is important in case we have the number of users increases so we might need a more number of resources and components like if we are dealing with scalability so dealing with scalability uh, can be resolved if the architecture, uh, the distributed system architecture is more flexible. So openness and flexibility is a challenge. So this shows that uh, architecture should be designed in more flexible way so that it, can, it is open for new uh, modifications. Security obviously in distributed system introduced to specific concern that con centralized system do not have. Uh, the first is the use of network where contents may be seen by other possibly malicious parties and the second is the use of servers. So as distributed systems are network enriched as all the components are connected together in with and with the resources resource components through network so the attacker can easily attack the distributed system. And second is the use of servers because client interact with server running on the server the application rather than operating system is responsible for authenticating the client and controlling access to services. So there are three building blocks that make security in distributed system confidentiality, integrity and availability. So confidentiality is the protection against disclosure to unauthorized individuals. Integrity is protection against alteration or corruption and availability is associated with the resources such that protection against interference with the means that the means to access the resources. So if the components are not accessing to the resources, so availability problem can arise and this uh, this is the uh, big security problem. So attacker can attack any of the uh, stated property heterogeneity heterogeneity means that every component or every processor or computing unit or um, program uh, node uh, is different in property from other nodes so this means uh, we have different nature of we have components with different nature also the operating system installed on different components are also different so heterogeneity of component is a problem and a challenge all this contributes to the challenge of creating an operating environment with a huge heterogeneity within a system components connection and their control so connectivity of different computing devices and connection and producing the communication coordination among the um, different uh, 
nodes become a challenge. An adopted way to handle heterogeneity is to use middleware. Middleware is a software layer providing programmer abstraction. Abstraction is what is abstraction? Abstraction is hiding the detail because every because of heterogeneity. Uh, so programmer need to do a programming on abstract level such that details are hide. So software developers uh, are provided a middleware uh, to assure abstraction while at the same time ma masking heterogeneity of underlying network technologies, pieces of hardware in use of system and bundle of software. Failure handling, so failure can occur due to uh, failure of some components. Uh, remember that one system will not, uh, one, one node will not affect other node, but as a whole system can be uh, affected. So obviously failure can occur, but uh, failure is not a um, big thing. Actual thing is that either your uh, system is capable to handle the failure or not, or recovery is possible or not. So de developing a distributed system is not just programming, it is about designing and playing through different scenarios with all kind of expectation taken into account with thought in mind that when nothing work works. There are certain techniques for dealing with failures as the first major one has to be able to detect the failures, detect failures can then be masked to allow taking relevant action so detection and then action are necessary so for action we we must have to implement the tactics uh, in distributed systems therefore one of the key distributed system property as well as challenge is their ability to tolerating failures when designing a system one might want to ask what is the level of failure situation that the system is still able to recover from recover from so uh, we have to define the level of failure and then based on the level we have to embed the uh, tactics to recover the main goal is to achieve high availability and that is possible only with the if the failure ratio is less as much as possible so the main goal is to achieve the high availability measure of the proportion of time that the resource is available for use and it is also stated that availability can be the problem uh, if the number of resources are short or less or the number of users increases so availability can be the problem so this was all about the distributed systems the need and the associated challenges so thank you for watching my video thank you so much